सो वेलकम बैक अगेन डियर स्टूडेंट ऑफ क्लास एट विल कंटिन्यू द स्टोरी इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैड ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक ऑफ द स्टोरी वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विद द कैरेक्टर वेयर द नरेटर्स फादर इज बिटन बाय द रेटल स्नेक नेम ऑफ द नरेटर इज जॉडी एज यू नो एंड इज फादर्स नेम इज पैनी एंड ही वॉन्टेड मीन्स द नरेटर वॉन्टेड टू गो टू फॉरेस्ट टू ब्रिंग द यंग फॉर्म ऑफ दैट किल्ड deer or doe so that they could have bring the young one of the deer who sacrifice itself for the sake of the narrator's father so he is taking permission from his father and the mother so we will continue today ahead so we have done this part we go forward he saddled back to the table and sat down saddled back means walk back quietly and Uh, his mother was pouring coffee for everyone he said ma passes you can bring back the fawn she held the coffee pot in the mid air means she paid attention to the words of jody what fawn the fawn belonging to the doe we killed we used the doe's liver to draw out the poison and save pa she gasped well for the pity sake pa says it would be grateful to leave it to stop pa says it would be ungrateful to leave it to stop doc wilson said that's right ma'am nothing in this world comes quite free the boy is right his dad is right so here the writer or the narrator trying to convince his mother that the doe means the type of deer sacrificed its life means we, they have killed that doe to save the life of jody's father so they should go and take the young deer the fawn back to home she gasped gasped means took deep breath means when you take the breath one way and you can listen the you can hear the voice of breathing the sound of breathing it is called gasping well for pity's sake you are feeling pity for it Pass age, it would be ungrateful. Ungrateful means thanklessness to leave it to starve. Starve means to keep that young fawn hungry. Doc Wilson is the servant in the house. That's right, ma'am. He is agree with the Jody and says it's right. Nothing in the in the world comes quite free. Means we have to pay something for anything. So we cannot say that we have saved our life and will not pay for it. So he is also, I mean to say, he is agree. to the point of jody the boy is right and his dad is right both are right to say this a mill will said he can ride back with me i'll help him find it so he says means the mill will says that he is ready to help jody to find the young deer she sat down the pot helplessly you know that coffee pot helplessly she Sat down. She put that pot down on the table. Well, if you'll give it your milk, we have got nothing else to feed it. Yes, you can bring the uh, fawn home if you are ready to feed the fawn with the milk you are given. Means you will have to share your milk with the young one to feed it. Melville said, "Come on, boy. We have got to get riding. So we should go to find out the." on ma baxter asked anxiously you will not be gone long so the mother says you will you should not go very deep into forest to find out the fawn jody said i'll be back before dinner for sure so he promises to come back before dinner uh, melville mounted his horse mounted means he rode here mounted means he rode right rode ridden so second form of right he rode his horse and pulled jody up behind him and he also helped jody to sit on the horse so he said to milville do you think the fawn is still there will you help me find him so he asked what milville think what does the mill will think about the fawn whether it will be there or not will find him if he is alive how can you how you know uh, it is he he means it is a male how can you say that the mill will ask to the jody how can you say that the 
fawn was a male. He means here he means male. The spots were all in the line. On a doe fawn passage, the spots are every which way. So Jordi is informed Millville that the spots you can see the patches the patches of different color if it is brown then white patches if it is white then black patches it's called spots on the skin so the spots were all in a line the spots on that deer or that fawn was in a line on a doe fawn passes it is informed to him by his father that the spots are every which way so if there are spots in a line it is an identity that the Fawn is male, and if it is every which way means in the different direction, then there are possibility of she fawn means the female fawn, he fawn and she fawn. So we have done this part, the first part. You will read this question, and you yourself will find out the answer by again revising the video. What had happened to Jordi's father? We have already explained. You will give the answer. How did the Joe save Penny's life? What does Jody want to bring the phone home? Why? What was his purpose? So we have already explained this one as well. And how does Jody know that the phone is a male? So recently we discussed about Jody's knowledge. Uh, why he thinks that the phone was a male. So we move to the second part. Jody gave himself over to thoughts of the phone. Means he was thinking of the phone only. They passed the abandoned clearing. Abandoned means left out. Means the lonely part of the clearing means uh, when there is an open space in a forest, it is called clearing, which is not occupied by anyone. Abandoned. They passed, they went beyond that open area and he said, cut to the north, Millville. Jody said, Millville, go to the north side. It was up here that Pa got bitten by the snake and this is the place where my father was bitten by that rattlesnake and killed the doe and I saw the fawn. So here the, there is the place where they the incident took place where the father was bitten and the doe was killed. Suddenly Jody was unwilling to have Millwheel with him. If the fawn was dead or could not be found he could not have this disappointment seen and if the phone was there, the meeting would be so lovely and so secret that he could not endure to share it. So suddenly it came to Jody's mind that he should go and find out the phone all alone without the help of Millwheel. So he did not want to take Millwheel with him. Why? Because he thought if he couldn't find the phone, then there will be a disappointment on the face of Jody and he did not want to show his disappointment to Milvi. And on the other hand, if he could find the fawn, then there will be a happiness. There will be an excitement on the face of Jody. And he did not want to share that happiness, that excitement with anybody else. So he wanted that he should go all alone to find out the Fawn. He could not endure. Endure means he cannot tolerate, he cannot bear that his happiness or disappointment could be shared with others. So this was the reason. So got it? So we go forward. He said, it's not far now but the scrub is very thick for a horse. I can make it on foot. So he says the bushes are very thick. It is not easy for the horse to go through these bushes so I can make it on foot means I will go on foot but I am afraid to leave you boy suppose you got lost or got bitten by the snake too said Milville that it is not good to go alone so you will be lost in the forest or the snake may bite you again so I will take care it might take me a long time to find the phone if he is wandered leave me off right here so he said, uh, the Jordi says that he is ready to take care of himself and it is very close, means the fawn would be where uh, fawn would have been in a nearby place uh, if he has wandered, leave me off right now, means I am going to write down, means uh, I want to alight from 
the horse here inside that place says the jodi all right but you take it easy now you know north here and east so he uh, melville tries to explain the direction and the places as a landmark so that he could move ahead alone there and there that tall pine makes a bearing so uh, that tall pine will help you as bearing means as compass help to identify the direction so these tall pine tree pine is a kind of wild tree you would have seen uh, the wild tree you can guess it tall wild uh, trees with cone shaped leaves you would have seen there in your forest as well it is grown in high altitude as well so they are tall pine you can help, you can take the help of those pine as compass means to identify the direction so long so long uh, Melville I'm obliged so he says goodbye to Jody and Jody initiated or began to move alone in the forest in search of the fawn the sound of the hooves to end then cut to the trite the scrub was still only his own cracking crackling of twigs sounded across the silence he wondered for an instant if he had mistaken his direction then then a buzzard rose in front of him and flapped into the air he came into the clearing under the oaks buzzards sat in the circle around the carcass of the doe they turned their head on their long scrawny necks and hissed at him he threw his bow at them and they flew into an adjacent tree the scent showed large cat prints but the big cats killed fresh but the big cats killed fresh and they had left the door to the carrion birds so we will go to understand this paragraph he he waited for the sound for the hooves to end the cut to the right so he waited the sound of the hooves hooves are the the sound of the foot of the animal then cut to the right then he went to the right side the scrub was still the bushes were st still uh, means was not in movement only his own crackling of the twigs by the walking of uh, the jody the crackling of twigs twigs means soft branches were breaking by his movement into the uh, bushes and they, they were only the sound in the silence of the forest he wondered for an instant instant means for a moment he wondered he thought if he had mistaken his direction that he may lose the direction he may lose the way or he may get lost in the forest he may then a buzzard rose in front of him means a vulture type bird which has caused in all things like uh, carnivorous then a, a buzzard a vulture type bird rose in the front of him and flapped into the air means flapping was moving its wings in the large wings in the air he came into the clearings under the oaks oaks are kind of tree big tree like oak tree he came into the clearing under the oak tree and the buzzard sat in a circle around the carcass of the door so the jody saw that there was a carcass carcass means dead body of the door and the buzzards the vultures were uh, uh, means the carcass the dead body of the doe was surrounded by these puzzles they turned their heads on their long crowny necks and hissed at him so when they found means those buzzards found that jody is there as an intruder so they start hissing at him he threw his bow at them he threw his bow bow is especially it uh, means uh, used for branch here he may have thrown his arm at them and they flew into an adjacent means close a nearby tree adjacent tree means a nearby tree they settled on it the sand showed large cat prints but the big cats killed fresh and they had left the door to the carrion birds left the door means the sand showed on the sand the jody saw the large cat prints means the paws the footprints of large cat but the big cats killed fresh and they had left the door to the carrion birds perhaps the cat has left that place and 
the carcass the dead body was left for the birds so here the buzzard meaning adjacent nearby parted means move post aside so he'll go ahead parted means move ahead he parted the grass at the place where he had seen the phone it did not seem possible that it was only yesterday the phone was not there he circled the clearings there was no sound no sign the buzzards clacked their wings impatient to return to their business he returned to the spot where the fawn had emerged and dropped on all fours studying the sand for the small hoof prints the night's rain had washed away and all the all the tracks except those of cat and the buzzards so he parted means he went aside he moved himself aside who yeah jody the grass at the he parted the grass means he moved the grass at the place where he had seen the phone he moved he saw into the grass where he, they had left the phone it did not seem possible that it was only yesterday the phone was not not there it was a matter of day before so he saw that the phone was not present there he circled the clearings so he went around the clearings that open place there was no sound no sign he couldn't find anything about the fawn the buzzards clacked their wings impatient to return to their business the buzzards were moving their wings as if they were ready to make a flight back onto their feast their food means that dead body of doe they were impatient to return to their business to return to their business means they were ready to go back to the work they were doing means eating the flesh of doe impatient impatient means uh, not keeping control over the emotion he is uh, called impatient so here the buzzards were growing impatient uh, because they want they want to go back to eat the flesh of dead doe <coughs> he returned to the spot where the fawn had emerged he means here jody came back to the spot where the fawn had emerged and dropped on all fours studying the sand for the small hoof prints so he came back to the place where they have left the fawn and he tried to study means he tried to find out on the sand what the small hoof prints the prints of small hoofs means the round shape foot of that uh, fawn the night's rain had washed away all tracks except those of cat and buzzards so the previous night it had been raining so because of the rain all the footprints on the tracks had washed away only there were some footprints of that big cat and buzzards so with this we end the second part of the story we have two questions in this art jody didn't want mill wheel with him for two reasons what were they so we have already discussed it in the first or second paragraph and then why was millville afraid to leave jody alone so what was the worries of millville to leave jody alone in the forest so now you will find out the question answers of this part as well as the question answer of previous part you will find out you can if you have book you can find out the answers from the book if you don't have so don't worry the video you are with this video you can revise the video you can read it yourself and then you will find out the question means the answer to these questions still if you can't then you can simply write me back i'll explain the question so other than this you will also write down all the hard words in your notebook together with making a sentence using those hard words so this is all for now we will continue this story we will finish this story on the next video on the next session so very soon we will be with the final part of the story till then goodbye take care thank you